that guys let me lay it out for you plain and simple here's the deal there are some uh, things I'm very concerned about and it uh, it's been bothersome I just woke up an hour ago it's quarter after three on a Friday afternoon it's gonna be dark in two hours I'm talking black and been working on a car no big deal but I'm going to see them right now because I'm in the car in the Honda that's why we got the dash cam I don't have a mount in any other of the vehicles I gotta switch lanes here uh, point is is here here's what's going on I've been there the last three days and Benita late you know sitting in the passenger seat has been slumped over with her chin on her chest you know just nonverbal nothing just there and I was like hey you know Sam how's your mom oh she's just tired it's like, okay and then you know I don't have it on camera that part of it well actually that part maybe I do but as I was working on the car yesterday for uh, well many hours uh, we're so close guys anyways that part's irrelevant right now I gave her some garbage bags to clean out her car for the more and more and more garbage she gave me her prized possessions if I could keep an eye on them I'm like yeah no problem I'm a complete stranger to you you don't even know my last name you know but sure you know I have no problem holding on to your most likely prized possessions at this point you know obviously you don't want to get them stolen you know anyways the point is I heard her say with my own ears I heard her say talking to her mother mom wake up wake up you know Daryl's here etc and then I heard her say well at least she's breathing and it's not rocket science but uh, if you just qualify that as acceptable there's a problem I might have to make a an overruling on her judgment she is a puppy she is a, a rabbit in the woods she's 20 years old the point is is that she cannot take care of herself let alone her mother and that is her rock the most prized possession you'll ever have people and I'm sure you know this this isn't new information is your mother and I love my mother As a matter of fact she is behind me she is following me to Walmart we're going to intervene I am bringing them to the hospital for many reasons and this will be to be continued here sh very shortly because I'm very close but I wanted to give you the heads up just so you know what's going on you know not worried about the car at this particular second although we're very 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 close and I've been saying that for days yeah I get it it's just that it's always something and nobody wants to see a video of me you know twisting bolts and pulling a, a part of the frame and twisting the metal and bending this and straightening that it's not it's not the point of the channel this is human kindness this is just common freaking sense but uh her attention is to her physical the first thing she told me to my face sam did is like and i was like what's the first thing you're gonna do when the car gets fixed bring my mom to the hospital i go well why don't we just bring her now she's like well because the car will get towed well let's be honest what's more important you know the car can be replaced everything in the car can be replaced that's just that's a setback your mother cannot be replaced let's make that perfectly clear she's gonna cry and I'm not this isn't an intention to make her cry but she's gonna be so emotional because she's so distraught 
but she's not in the right frame of mind to make proper decisions. That's that's the the whole point. You know, I'm not trying to be big brother, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and I'm just going to have to talk to her and see how it goes. But you're going to see that very shortly. So I'm going to sign off, and we'll, we're going to pick right back up here very shortly. All right. All right, guys, I got to intervene. I'm really concerned about Benita's health. I got to talk to Sam. Hopefully she's here. I have no idea. Uh, this is a routine. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, you, okay, well, take care of your business and, um, how's that battery? Is it dead? Yeah. All right, let me just grab it. And it's like, all right, I need to talk to you. I mean, take take care of that, and then I'll be I'll be back. You know, whenever you're ready, just step out, okay? All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna be honest, guys. Sad enough to say, and I'm not trying to embarrass them, but the uh, the vehicle smells like complete urine. And mom, again, not my mom, which is right here, by the way. Hey, mom. Uh, no, she's here for some uh, more elderly adult advice. But no, there is a distinct urine smell from that vehicle. The minute I open the door, she's on the phone with the pharmacy, and the mom's head is slumped over again. Her chin is in her chest, and. Uh, <laughs> She's had a major stroke. Uh, I'm not sure what the story is. I'm not a medical professional. I didn't stay at the Holiday Inn, but I did watch a YouTube, so I could probably do some surgery. Uh, you know, because that's how everybody learns how to do everything. Uh, well, at least I do. Uh, uh, if you don't go into a situation at least partially prepared, then you're just making a fool of yourself. I do it every day, so, you know. And Oh, and by the way, you're going to remind me. You know, after this video, see, I can edit all this stuff out. You know, it's like I just ramble. You know, hey, you, you, tell me you haven't noticed. But I told her, I told Sam, I said, look, uh, she's she's like, I don't I don't want this part on camera because she's calling the pharmacy and whatever. And you know, I totally get it. But uh, no, we're this is gonna happen. That's the electric cart they use to get her to take a piss but it, I'm telling you right now the whole car smells like piss I opened the door and I thought a cat was in there and I was just here I've been here the last three five days in a row and that's the new radiator and all the stuff and I just got a few things to do and it's going to be ready I don't even know if it's going to drive start you know go straight I have no idea she smashed that pole she crunched yeah. it look at the pole it's bent at the top, it's bent to the right. She hit it on the, on that side. It's so, boomerang. Well, no, the pole didn't change. It's just the point is, is that Walmart got worried because I attached that my strap, my come along, to the yellow post, the concrete post that's probably at least six foot underground, to part of the frame to pull it out. No, to, to try to make it straighter so the parts would fit first thing you got to do is make sure that you, what you're putting in is going to fit you know it's just well you know it's a shame though those are so low well no they're painted yellow for a reason she hit that at high velocity you, you, you there's no bumping into that to trigger the airbags and cause that much damage there's a ton of damage and you know, obviously, I'm. What all did you have to replace? <laughs> well, you've seen the Everything videos. Everything from a foot forward. You see that black bar going across? That's the main thing. All right, come here, Sam. Come here, please. Yeah, sorry about yesterday. I was having a lot of problems with my depression and stuff, and I just didn't feel good. No, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. But uh. Yeah, he was, he, he, the second I opened my door, he was like, I know where you're going. <laughs> you know, no, I just woke up. I worked last night. I got up and yeah. I actually woke up about an hour um, ago. 
Oh, if you were wondering how I was able to call, it's because I was able to find this app called Talkatone, and it lets you make phone calls for free over Wi-Fi. Thank okay. You. Well, uh, okay. So basically, what you're saying is you have no phone service. Yeah, they okay. completely cut it off. All right, we're, we're, we'll get that fixed. But this is more important to me. Um, let me ask you a few questions, and you, you can feel free to answer these as. I'm his mother. Yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that part comes in a minute here. You know, she uh, she gets out once a month, so you know she's happy to come Lift visit. Me off my train. Yeah, yeah. I, once I you know let her loose from the kennel, you know, at least she gets some food. You know, unlike some other dogs that I know in different families. Okay, let me ask you this. Based on our talk yesterday, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but. As I was working on your car, I wasn't recording at the time, but I heard, remember how I gave you garbage bags and you were cleaning out your car? Yeah. I've still got those. That's why I'm in my car. Uh -huh. Because all that stuff is still at the house. I'm here at more. This is not. But I am. Xbox wasn't out in the rain last night, was it? No, no, it was in my car. Oh. No, it's totally safe. Okay. But uh, speaking of which, you said, I want, I want to create a scenario for you. Um, Let's just say, for example, that you and your mom were 200 feet away from your car, and for some reason or another, it was on fire. What would be the most important things involved in the entire vehicle that are the most important things in your life? Well, for me, it would be, honestly... My, you are shivering, young lady. It, honestly, it would be my electronics because with all of my mental issues, it's the only thing that can help me relieve okay. stress and calm down. All right. But that and obviously like clothes and food. Okay. But when we were talking yesterday, you had said that the three the three most important things was your computer, well, your Xbox, too. and your mom. Yeah. yeah. Well, you okay. had said me and mom were out of the car. <laughs> That's true. Okay, <laughs> valid point. Good point. No, you got me there. No, she's a lawyer. She's sharp. I know? was actually gonna go in the law. So. No, she's sharp. You know, can you know, can can swing it by you. I'm not trying to, you know, this is not meant to be embarrassing by any means whatsoever. But I want to ask you a simple question. Um, if I can think of exactly how to phrase this. Because what it is, is with me being bipolar and having BPD, my emotions are always like yeah. on the extreme side. And playing games is the one thing that kind of soothe. Me down. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I totally get it. I've been gaming since 2012. My God. I've, that 360. Since you, you were, have, since you were a fetus. Yeah, the 360 you have, that was my very first. I have no idea. 360, 520 is. Well, uh, it has my <laughs> Xbox One and my 360. Um, and the 360 I've had since 20. I, you're talking Greek to me. You know, no, I no, I totally get it. But that's a very prized possession of yours. Yeah, it got and me you, through my grandparents. That, not only that, but your MacBook. I have both of those items. Yeah. Do I not? Do you even know my last name? No. Okay, so you have entrusted me at this point to take care of your some of your very prized possessions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. My concern is you're. I'm very worried about your mom. This is day three now. I've been here many days in a row that she has not responded, and I. Oh, she's awake today. Well, she might be awake, but that's not fixing anything. Let me get to the point. I feel that she desperately right this very second you had said uh, i had asked you i think yesterday or the day before because the days run together you know i'm sure yours do too you know you've been here over two months yeah, it doesn't feel like it's been before long. halloween you've been here before halloween i have that from three well, not, reliable not confirmed that. sources well not in that specific parking spot but yeah well yeah because you were in the front one until we pushed you back it, it's, I'm, I'm just trying to say is just, we're, see, we're going on many weeks. What it is, yeah. though, is like part of why I didn't want to tell you how long we had been here is because I didn't want people taking that and getting us in trouble and having us get kicked out and have nowhere to go. I get it. And I get it. And that's why I was scared to tell you how long we had been here. Right. But of anything, okay, right now, if you were to turn around and look at your, your vehicle, everything that's in that car, what's the most important thing in your entire life right now? Okay, 
With that being said, I am 1000% concerned about your mom. She has not spoken a word in three days, maybe to you, but I feel that she's, she is younger than I am. Well, you keep catching her after she takes her pain medicine and falls asleep. <laughs> it's, we're kind of missing the point. Her, her, her leg is infected. She has diabetes. It's not, it's not infected. She's they got that it. gigantic bandage. When was the last time she had a medical appointment? She just got back from one the other and day. And that was the pain management place yeah. you told me about, right? Okay. But they didn't check her bandage, her wound. You know. Yeah, we, we, well, here's the thing. Now that I can, now that I have that app and actually can do it, I can get her set up with an appointment with her foot doctor. We're supposed to be changing the bandages. The issue is when I was cleaning out the car, we lost the bandages. I don't know where it, they got put. Okay, well, let me ask you this. If you don't change the bandages, what do you think happens? Well, I mean, the whole reason we got to change it is to keep it clean, and that's why I was okay. trying if to you find don't keep a way. Okay, if you don't keep it clean, what happens? It just won't heal as good. They didn't say it'll get infected if she doesn't clean it. It's they, gonna get infected. Well, it's that's not. that's general common knowledge. You are very young. You have zero street smarts. I'm not trying to insult you by any means. You're doing the best you can with what you got. Here's what I propose. I would like my mother to talk to your mother, and we want to bring you to the hospital and get an assessment. Get get her fixed up. She needs to be in the supine position. I think that's what it's called. You know, flat. So do you. You get hot meals. You're going to get electricity. You'll have internet. You'll have your computer that you can get out of the car. We will bring you. That's why she's here. But what about the car? The car. Let me ask you this. What's more important? Your mom or your car? I don't have to choose between the two because I can just let her go to the hospital and stay with the car. But the issue is... She doesn't want to go to the hospital unless I go with her, but I can't go with her and risk the car getting towed because that has everything we own. Right, but you but already right told now, me. She's fine, like she. As she, of right now. Like right. what I'm saying is, what I'm wanting to do is, I'm gonna be calling. That's what I was about to do was call her foot doctor and schedule an appointment with him as soon as possible, and okay. then schedule her a ride. Okay. There's okay. more issues than that. Let me, let me, well, let me. Well, her foot's the only thing that's been giving her any problems. Okay. Well, she's on oxygen. Let me ask you this. I've opened the door a couple different times and oxygen tanks have fallen out of your car. I've never seen in my entire life as an aged grandpa, aged dude, older than your mother. She looks, your mother looks older than my mother. And she's older, well, she is a grandma like 25 times. You know, I, I, all I'm trying to say is, I am two and a half times your age. I am older than your mom, and she looks debilitated, and she needs physical help. And don't worry about the car. I will get that figured out. This is the least of your issues. Think, I, I want you to weigh the pros and cons of this, okay? Obviously, you're an adult, a young adult, that doesn't have a ton of experience with, well, with basically anything in life because you're just young. You know, oh God, I wish I could be your age again and know what I know. Yeah, yeah it's that's how it how goes. How do you think I feel? I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but I'm very concerned about your mom. And correct me if I'm wrong. Did you or did you not say the first thing you would do when the car's running is bring your mom to the hospital? Well, yeah, but that's not because of anything that's wrong with her. It's a just in case. Thing. <laughs> if it's if there would yeah, be. I don't know how to explain it, and it you're it's making me stressed out. Um, yeah. Carol is acting preventive. I'm trying to just help you. I'm not here it's to... It's just I can't explain what I'm trying... I can't put what I'm trying to say into words and you keep asking me the same thing and I can't get the words out. Oh, well, take your making... time. Take your time. You know, this isn't, uh, you know... Look it's... Bruno in the eyes and tell him. Give him a pet. You know, look at him. He's waiting for you. But... If your main concern, it's you know, it's it's really just a few questions you got to ask yourself. Your main concern is your mother's health, right? Yeah, but okay. what I was trying to say though is that my mom is fine. Like she's been able to walk just fine and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with her foot. We just need to find the dressing and change the dressing. Okay. And that's why I wanted to try and get her into her foot doctor so that he could give us extras okay. to change it. Because that's the only thing I'm really worried about. Everything else on her spine, everything else I was 
able to take care of myself like the little cut she did get okay. I have enough first aid knowledge to be able to patch her up if something like that happens I she's guess I've been really sleepy because well, she hasn't been sleeping good well I, I, I have to say the last three days that I've seen her that's all she's been doing you know well, that's because she, me and her have been waking up around 1, 2 in the morning, falling asleep around 2, 3 p.m. The, the thing is, is I heard you physically, try, you were talking to her, she was not responding, and then you said, well, at least she's breathing. Well, it's because she stops breathing in her sleep sometimes, that's oh. why. Well, there's no cause for concern there. Like, that's why I was like, at least she's breathing, because I was worried she was going to stop breathing in her sleep. She's supposed to be on a CPAP machine. Okay. Well, uh, that, but now uh, she's on oxygen to remedy that until we can get a house or somewhere to stay. Right. And that's a further bridge to cross. Because she's not supposed to be on that oxygen 24-7. That's the thing. I'm trying to get her not to be using it as much, because if she continues to use it the way she's trying to do it, she's going to end up relying on it and never be able to come off of it. Okay. And I'm trying to tell her, Mom, you need to at least take it out for an hour every day. And if you remember yesterday's conversation that wasn't recorded, it was between you and I, I think I remember you something about saying that you know or i maybe had mentioned you know i think we should call 911 you know for your mom well it was just kind of like because her head is in her chest she's slumped over it's been three days since yeah. i've heard her voice she i'm just worried about up. her she can't sit up straight very well i mean you can come talk she, to she, her. she can't sit up straight that's all she can do well, no, she's what, in a car seat what i mean what i mean is she's been having is like because of her back problems she can't stand up straight or sit up straight because okay. her spine is kind of curved okay well that's fine all i'm trying that's to say is let me ask you this you're worried about the car being towed worried about everything uh, well that's completely obvious you know because you have no other way of life right now if if uh, you say you're worried about if she was in the hospital that you would be you the first time I met you she was in the hospital and you and I, and I was, I, you were devastated you were like you are now yeah cuz what it is is like with all my mental health issues they don't help it makes me like when she leaves like that my brain tries to make me think she abandoned me don't cry it, oh my god and it just, i'm not here to try to embarrass you i'm just here to help here's what i want to propose you can say yes you can say no but i you know the decision are, are you the official i think you may have mentioned to me that you are the official caregiver for her I'm now her caregiver but she can make her own decision is this legal documentation no. that you are her okay so you're just basically the one who takes care of her yeah but not a but legal they caregiver but they don't pay me or anything for it no no that's fine i just do it because yeah. she's my mom okay well, let me i have one brother but he's he doesn't care about us well that's beside the i mean no it's important but it's irrelevant to your situation right now because he knows we're homeless and he hasn't even tried to reach out to me so well that I'm sounds willing. like a that sounds like a good family member you know it sounds like somebody else i know yeah all of uh, our family's done that to us well yeah that's cool but hey here's what i kind of propose let me let me give you the pros and cons of the situation here you say you don't want to leave the vehicle because it's going to be towed that's your big concern, right? And everything you own is in that car. But the most prized possessions that you do have are in my possession. Well, not my main computer. But right, but you would be bringing books. that with you. My okay, books and your books. Important. Books are replaceable. Everything else is replaceable. That's work. Now, let's, let, let's break this down into the simplest elements. Okay, the most important thing in your life right now, there's the cops. They're coming right here. The most important thing in your life right now yeah. is your mother, right? They're doing it because of him. Yeah. Oh, they're here to see Billy? No, they're just driving through. It's part of their deal. But uh, now, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't that police officer that was here a few days ago wanted to bring your mom to the shelter? 
Yeah, he was wanting both of us to go to the shelter. Okay, and but you that, said no because you were worried about your car. Because we would have had to pay to get it towed and we didn't have the money. Okay, so they're saying because you're not in the car, it would be towed. I tried calling Annetta because based on your approval, I would like to, well, her phone just completely wants a voicemail because I'm sure her battery's dead. And usually she's here where Billy is. She was here earlier was and she? disappeared. Yeah. I, like, I took my mom to use the bathroom, and by the time we got back, she was gone. Okay. Speaking of using the bathroom, I'm, I don't mean this insulting by any means. The minute I opened that door, or you opened that door, I, I could smell urine. That's because she... Last night she had an accident. She soiled herself. Okay. Yeah. Well, let me let me let me propose a plan, and you can chew on it for a minute. You don't have to decide right this second, but here's what I suggest: the car is going nowhere. You know what I mean? I'm so close to getting it fixed. That's why I didn't bring my truck. You know, I just, like I said, I just woke up an hour and a half ago, and this is a courtesy visit because I'm worried about your mom, and without your mom. You are totally lost. You are you are a rabbit in the woods. I already know that. Okay, I'm not. Uh, this is not trying to be insulting. Please don't. Just listen. I just I, game I face. Hate when people bring up my mom dying. Well, let me ask you. In my opinion, in my opinion, in, in her condition right now, I think New Year's Eve would be a stretch. We're talking just a few days. You guys have been living in this car for two months. Let me propose a plan, and I want to get your thoughts on it. You don't have to make a decision. It's totally up to you. You're you're an adult. I can't force you to do anything. I'm not I'm not any official government agency by any means. I'm just a guy. I'm just a guy that cares. But let me propose a plan. Let my mother bring your mother and yourself to the hospital. You grab your computer, you will have warmth, shelter, food, TV, internet, clothing, shower. you know, shower, and the car will be fine. What is the difference? Your windows are covered. Nobody knows if you're in it or not. I've been here many times and you're not even in it. Let's get her the proper medical attention that she needs and deserves. Get her some IVs. She's dehydrated. She can barely walk. She needs her foot dressing changed. She just, there's a plethora of stuff. And you can actually, you know what? They have those, you know, uh, the chairs in the rooms that recline, and you can actually be they horizontal. Too. There you go. Hot water, you're shivering right now. You know. Grab a change of clothes, grab your computer. You said you have to have it plugged in. You can't plug it into your cigarette lighter. That ain't gonna happen. You know, I got your computer, I got your Xbox, I got all the other stuff you give me. I haven't even looked through it. It's none of my business, it's your stuff. It's safe and sound, I promise you. I wouldn't, but we wouldn't even know when she'd get out and by the time she gets out, we wouldn't have a way to get back here unless they called a car for us. All right, let me, let me tell you this. Here would be the deal. I would imagine at this point, it would be probably a two to three day stay. That would be my opinion. I'm not a medical professional by any means, but just on the state of the situation, that's what I'm guessing. Here would be the story. I'm gonna go to T-Mobile, pay your phone bill. I need some information from you, no big deal. Your phone's gonna be activated. You got a new app on your phone. You'll have Wi-Fi at the hospital, etc., etc. Warmth, comfortable bedding, a TV, you can connect to the world. Uh, we were talking about this and she wants, she was wanting to wait until after tomorrow because we need to go pick up her medicines tomorrow. I can pick we, up the medicines tomorrow. No, I have to be with the person. Okay, then I can come get you and go get the medicines. Well, she already has a ride scheduled is the thing though. And that's why she was wanting to That's ride. an amazing service that they come actually pick you up in a parking lot. How do you tell the oxygen guy where you are? Yeah, we're in parking lot of row B thirty seven. You know, you well, know what I mean? The it's, oxygen guy knows our car because well, yeah, he's, he's been, been here, you know, how many times? Well no, it's not that it's the he's like a family friend to us. He's oh, like okay. family to us. So he he just knows which car is ours. Okay. No, that's cool. I mean whatever's easy. I'm just trying to offer you the ability to have your mom, you're, you only have one, and that's all you'll ever have. I know. And Xbox, computer, the car, everything else is, it's just stuff. 
Yeah, but without the car, we would literally die, or at least mom would. I think you're running the risk of dying here. She shouldn't be sitting in urine. That's no. She's she not. She's not sitting in urine. Let me clarify that. She went and changed, but what it is is she has to wear diapers because she, she has bladder issues. Yeah. They want to put her in assisted living, but she doesn't want to go because then I'd be screwed too. And they won't work anything out with both of us. Well, let me tell and you what. I was hoping that we could just get the car fixed as soon as possible. Well, yeah. All right. Let, let me ask you this. Uh, the car is very close. I, I, I did. I had to go to the Ford dealership today, and I got some schematics. So now I know what I'm doing. You know, I'm, I'm learning everything that I'm doing to your vehicle on YouTube, because that's just how it goes. You know, I'm not a mechanic by any means. But here's what I want to ask you: If the first thing that you told me a day or so ago is that when the car is fixed, you're bringing your mom to the hospital. Okay. So in the meantime. The hospital issue exists, but the fact that she's not there also exists. With that but being what so. I was trying to explain is that it's not that she needs to go to the hospital like right this second or anything like that. She doesn't really need to go. It's just we well, gotta. But it's just I want to like I don't know how to explain it, but like she's the one that wants to wait. Because she's awake right now and she was telling me she's not going until I can go with her. She wants to wait until the car's fixed. All right, well, let me ask you this. Let's just say, I mean, let me just propose an idea. Let me throw something out in the in the, in the middle of the woods here in the in the air and see what if you pick up on, on this question. Let's just say, for example, that the car does not get fixed. Your mom's medical condition is not going to change. The car will still be damaged. It's 10,000% better off than it was, but at the same time, you physically can't drive it. And the first thing you said that you would do when the car is running is bring your mom to the hospital. And I think she needs medical attention. That's just my opinion. You can say, you know, kick rocks, you know, get out of my face. You know, that's fine, you're crazy. You know, I know my mother, blah, blah, blah. And you are lost without her. And you will be together. You will be side by side. You're not sleeping in a car. You're side by side in a bed watching TV, getting hot meals, showers, telling jokes, etc. For a couple days. It's entirely up to you. I'll bring, I'll, I, that's why she's here. She's here to, to provide transportation if need be. You know, I brought Bruno for emotional support because he loves everybody. He's my boy. But it's, uh, I'm just concerned about your mom because I already know being the girl, I guess you could say the lost bunny in the woods, no offense, it's just that you're young and inexperienced. You know, I've had, I'm two and a half times older than you. So I've had, I've been kicked in the face. I know the drill. I, I've never had, I've never in my life had to live what you've had to do at such a young age. You can't even buy cigarettes. That's how young you are. You know. What what do you say? In a few months, so, huh? You're, you're <laughs> very concerned and a very loving daughter. I've been taking care of my mom since I was six years old. I saved her life at six years old and I've been saving her life since then. Okay. If she needed to go to the hospital I'd I'd make sure she goes. That's But like, you don't know. You don't I know what though. infection is running through. Well, she was already at the hospital for an infection and she's, well, it wasn't when? actually infected though. That's what I was about to say. The day that you met me, that's, she had went to the hospital to make Two sure she weeks wasn't ago. infected. Two weeks ago. But she's been taking antibiotics since then and she's, and I've been asking her mom, is there any problems with your foot? And she says, no, nothing other than the normal pain. That's why I know it's not infected because if it was okay. infected, she wouldn't be able to walk right now. What's the oxygen all about? What do you mean? Why does she have oxygen? Oh, that's just for like, because when she walks, she sometimes gets a little out of breath. And so they wanted her on oxygen for that and for when she's asleep. She doesn't walk. She rides around in that electric buggy. She was walking this morning. She walked to Walmart this morning. Uh, <laughs> she the buggy. Okay. No, she yeah. walked. We got her the buggy when we got to Walmart. I'm, we had you took her back. 
Yeah, she well. rode the buggy back because she didn't want to walk it again. It well, was just a preference. Let me uh, let me just tell you my thoughts on things. I will be back tomorrow to continue to work on your car, but this is totally on a personal level. And uh, my mom would love to meet your mother, if that would be okay with you. Yeah. And just to talk to her, you know, adult, grown, grow, grown ass, cotton head. <laughs> Grandma, a uh, oh wait, sorry, mom, I wasn't. But hey, man, if uh, yeah, I don't I'm just I don't this know. is a you're this not, is a you're not good for each other right now. This is a good solution. Yeah. I just want you to weigh the benefits versus the non-benefits of things. She's going to get proper medical attention in a professional environment. You guys will have warmth. You can drink sleeping your arrangements. Yeah. Look, nobody knows you're in it or not because your windows are always covered. Nobody but, knows if you're there. But we'd have no way to get back here. Yes, you would. You have a phone. There's phones at the hospital. You call me, I will come get you. We can't call you from there. Yes, from you can. Oh, mom tried no. To, no, mom tried to call me when she was at the hospital and it wouldn't let her call out. Okay. I had to call her. But you have your phone, right? Yeah. Your T-Mobile, right? Gonna I'm going to go pay your bill and you will have service. You have nothing to worry about. You'll have hot meals, a shower. When was the last time, no offense, when was the last time you were able to actually bathe under hot water? Whenever I was, when the car was still fixed and I went to the hospital with her, so like a month ago. Well, you've been here two months. Actually, it's been three. September is when we became homeless. Okay, so it's been three months since you've actually no, bathed. No, I. what I'm trying to say is we <laughs> were going to the hospital every now and then when she needed it, and we'd take showers and stuff then. Okay. Well, it, it's it, it's not it by any means meant to insult you, but don't you think that would be feel fantastic? Wouldn't you feel like, like a shiny penny, getting a nice fresh shower, good, you know, new soap, actual would towels? Don't worry about her. Yeah, your mom was taken care of. You're right by her side. You guys can watch Law and Order together on TNT, or you know, you know the drill. It's just an option, and it's just it's ten thousand percent better than sitting in a car for the second month. It would have to be after tomorrow, though. Why would it have to be because, after tomorrow? Because I need to pick up her medicines. We can pick up her medicines tomorrow. I'll get your phone activated. T-Mobile's open till 8 o'clock. I already called. I just need your account information. I'll go pay your bill. I'll bring you the receipt. I will visit you in the hospital. I don't even know my account information. Well, you know your phone number. That's like really all you need. So how much do you owe? What's your bill? I don't know. Because that's the thing is that um, I, I think there's $200 on it. And that's why I didn't want to ask anybody for help. Okay. And you're paying an absorbent amount of service because you it, have the iPhone. It's a hundred. It's like a hundred and twenty to a hundred and sixty a month, and we've been trying to get it paid off, but they just keep hitting us with even more late fees, late fees. You know, because it's uh, going to cost twenty dollars per lawn restored. Right, right. Well, there's that. You can transfer your phone for twenty five dollars a month. I'll pay it. You know. I'll pay it. I'll pay your two hundred. No, that's no because it's it's that's just a band-aid mom it's it's not fixing the long-term problem you cannot afford 120 to 160 dollars a month for basic phone service when you can get the same service for 25 dollars you know seeing it's disconnected there what about going to transferring her phone number to a well yeah that's easy yeah it actually might be better but she's going to need a PIN number from T-Mobile to transfer the number and whatnot. Regardless, you will be able to communicate, you know. And I don't know what you're talking about with the hospital phones. I've gotten calls from 50 people at hospitals. It may have just been the room she was in that day, but okay. she wasn't able to call me. She had tried. All right. All right. Well, that might be the case, but I'm then it... talk to her. Yeah. All right. Well, she wants to meet your mom. If you want to... Uh, let, hey, tell you what, let's take a break for five minutes. I need to shut down and regroup. And uh, this is not meant by any means. I'm not forcing you. I, I'm just very concerned. And I would not be... Enough is enough. Yeah, I, I, I would not feel comfortable because your mom is your life right now. 
She is your rock. She is your source, like my mother is. Always has been. Always will be. So, I just want the best of health for her and for yourself. Why don't we take a, a few minute break, sit in the car, talk to her. You'll be with her the whole time, right by her side. You will. You, they're only allowed one visitor, and that's you. And then they'll assess, admit, etc. She's going to get IVs. You guys are going to get fed. You're going to have a warm place to stay, a bed to lay on. Even if you snuggle together in the same bed. Oh, yeah, I actually did do that once. I fell asleep laying beside her. There you go. I was and videos. you said, you know, after she had the urine incident, and she said, well, yeah, she wasn't changed, but it's still on the body. Because oh, she cleaned herself up. Well, we had those wobs. But it's not it's herself. not the same as being in a hot ass shower. Well she can't take a no. shower with her foot like that anyways. Well they won't let her they'll arrange. They'll the, just wipe her down like what she did. Okay. For herself. Well, it's gonna be professional and she's her issues are gonna be addressed. Well I helped you're too mm -hmm. close to the situation. Yeah, you're uh um, you're, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> no, I mean, oh, she, she got you there, Mom. <laughs> now it's like, look, she tells me stuff every day. We don't always agree. As a matter of fact, we love to. We argue more than anything. It's just, it's kind of been just in fun. Look at this almost accident. Me and my mom only argue if I'm stressed and. Well, okay. That's a lot. Only when you're stressed, well, which is all the time. We haven't been arguing much here recently or anything. Because she's like been that. sleeping. Well, no, it's because we've actually had our mood stabilizers, so we okay. haven't been as... Itchy. I will take you to get the medications tomorrow. I will pick you up at the hospital. We'll, we'll make a time, 9 o'clock, a.m., 10, 10 a.m., whatever time. It doesn't matter. Or however you want to do it. We'll get your phone situated. We'll have to go all the way to Cleveland if you're going to take me because her medicine is in Cleveland. They can transfer their prescription here to Dalton. They can't? Why? Because it's opioids. It's in the them. same state. No, actually not. It's she not. Has, it's not. Actually, she's right. Yeah, she's right. And her doctor's office literally says she has to get them in Tennessee. Okay. So how would you get to Tennessee to get her meds? The Uber, the Lyft. Her insurance already has a Lyft scheduled to pick us up tomorrow. Okay. What time? Sometime in the afternoon, around 12 p.m. Okay, that narrows it down. Well, I can't always just call them and ask them when I had it scheduled, but. No, you can't always call them and ask them because you no, don't have phone service. That app on my phone, I can call. Okay, so you can use the same app at the hospital. Am I? I I'm just and trying to. Kind of no, I totally get it. If we got to go to Cleveland, we got to go to Cleveland. I know where it is. It's right up the highway. It's 20 minutes. You know, it's entirely up to you. I'll tell you what. Let's take a break for a second. But I, if she's in the hospital, she's going to get the medication that huh. she needs. Yeah, if she needs opioids, they'll determine there too. No, you know? they never give her her medicines. They purposefully don't give her her medications when she's there. They only they give her purposely half. do not give her her they medications. They only give her half of the stuff she's supposed to take. What I mean by that is they only give her her medicines that she's supposed to have twice a day, once a day, and they don't even give her some of her medicines at all. The hospital has okay. constantly failed her in terms of her. I, I guess I would have to ask, why would they intentionally distribute half the medication to? Because they they blame everything but the actual cause of the problem. They always want to blame my mom's medicine, even though she's been on it for years and this has never happened before. Okay. Well, anyways, let's 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 go into that you know five ten minute you know chill mode. Get yourself warmed up. Uh, we can go anywhere, but I'm just saying you're sitting here shivering. You know you've got other clothes and stuff. Well, you it's know. because I only have a tank top on under this. My right. shirt got wet. Well, we just did. I don't have any long sleeves in there. That's why. You don't have a long sleeve. Yeah, the only long sleeve I had was the one I was wearing. I always hit the opposite button on the unlock and lock. You know, I relock it. I relock it when it's already locked. Let's see what we can dig up for you, young lady. Yeah, 
All right, let us bear witness to this. Uh, forgive me for not knowing. No, these are these are pants. <laughs> no, my fault. Is Wrong button. Like a medium or a large? I like the yeah, I, I can't guarantee the size. <laughs> All I can guarantee is warmth. Yeah, you know. As long as it's not a small, you can wear it? Yeah, I can't You're wear tiny. Small. I can't wear a small. Okay. It's too tight on me. Well, infantile size. <laughs> it's too tight on my chest. I would find that amazing that you can't wear a small because you're tiny. It's because it's too tight around my chest. Okay. Well, let us bear witness to this. Hold this up for the world to see. That is at least... <laughs> it, at least a large. Yeah, it's a medium. Okay. A large medium. A, sh a l l medium. But uh, I would encourage you to put that on. Uh, nonetheless, talk with your mom. I'm just looking at this as there's multiple benefits and very little. And I doubt very much that they're going to worry about something being here on a holiday weekend. Yeah. We're talking New Year's is right around the corner. And but you remember, they came out here mad about the thing being right around there because it was almost Christmas. Right, that was four days ago. And that's that's done and over with. I'm just... That problem, you you were right there when I talked to the Walmart people. They are totally comfortable with what's happening. And look at the parking spots. I mean... Yeah, I mean, we're, we're good. There's nothing attached. There's no garbage. We cleaned up everything that we've been working on. Everything's looking better. We're, we're, we're making progress. But you will not progress without your mother's health. And all I'm trying to say is, why don't you start the new year off with a healthy mom that doesn't always have her head laying in her chest. I am older than your mom. That is sad. Uh, it's not sad in the fact that I'm older. The fact is, in, in her condition, she needs medical attention. That's just my opinion. You know how old that makes me. Yeah, she's... Listen, your mom and you, your age combined, is younger than my mom. Just my mom. You know, you have zero street experience. That's not your fault. You got forced into this. It's the way it is. It's, it, what's done is done, and we can't change the past. History has been written. The only thing you can do is move forward in a positive direction. Would you like to see your mom more healthy? She's diabetic, right? Yeah, but that's not what any of the issues are. It's all the issues. Her diabetes. I know what the problems are. I, I know what's wrong with her. Let it's me just her back. Yeah. Well, I, I'm getting a little bit upset with you because you're denying the fact that your mother is ill. You're trying to pretend that she's healthy. And I'm not trying to pretend. And that this is all going to turn out well. If she does not get aid and health and heat and the proper oxygen, the proper fluids, she's going to die. It's the hard truth. You know, uh, it's, I'm not. I wouldn't be here. Yeah, she she's had her issues. I've been to the hospital many times. I've been taken by ambulance. I've been in every hospital in the state. Oh, pretty close. Uh, Lower state. <laughs> yeah, Calhoun, Murray, Whitfield. But uh, all right. Why don't you take a second? Why don't you put that on? You know, warm up. You got those socks? Sam, don't cry. You know. I'm just sick and tired of people thinking. Hmm. We're trying to help you, Arnie. Thinking what? Thinking I don't give a fuck about my mom when my mom's the only thing I care about. Okay, we so know that. I, I that's the point. Have, this is the but whole the thing point. Is you guys are acting like I have no medical knowledge whatsoever, but I've been the one by her side every single time she's Listen, admitted. I'm the one that knows what's going on. Medical with her. knowledge. I've been, I've been diabetic for 35 years. You can't bullshit me about. Well, it's not about... What's going on is not her diabetes. It's her back that's, that's the problem. That's why her wound... Yeah, I got back too. That doesn't... Because it's, it's neuropathy. Okay, you say that you never finished school, right? High school. Because I got sick. Okay. But then you say just now that people think that you're not medically educated. 
Uh, but was, you also did tell me you had first aid training. What's yeah. your What's her A one C? Her A one C? Yeah. How would I know? She doesn't tell me. She hasn't told me. Does she know? I don't know if she knows. She doesn't have a thing to check her blood sugar or anything like okay, that. Okay, so how do you know if she's in, in, going to be well, in... Well, let's in, get her a piece of cake. Yeah, or another bottle of Coke, you know. She's been drinking Coke. She, she has yeah. been drinking Coke. Let me, you know let, how much sugar and water? it brings your blood sugar up 100 yeah. points? She, she's got that little Dexcom thing that's well, on your arm. She takes medicine every day for her blood sugar. She knows how to keep it regulated. She's lived with diabetes for her whole life. She knows how to regulate it. Okay. I'm just trying to offer a solution to a problem that I think may exist. You may say whatever. You're the boss. I just don't like that you guys are acting like I'm lying about my mom's health. I'm not. Oh. We're not saying anything about you lying. I just think that you underestimate her condition. I, I really do. You know, I've been flooded with emails saying, my goodness, this woman needs medical attention. She's, you guys have been living in this fucking truck for two months. You think I don't know that? I know. So what would be the problem with going to the hospital? What, what is the problem? Yeah, give us, give us the, the... The opportunity to provide better health. Without your mom, you are really going to be done. I already know that. Okay, so Why what... Why do you think I'm so fucking depressed? I understand. Listen to me. <laughs> Sam, this is... This is the, okay, let's 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 take a break, guys. Yeah. This is... I know this is very emotional. I'm sorry. I, 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 I don't have a panic attack. Okay, would you like water? I got some water. No, oh, no. Okay. Uh, oh, man. can't talk to a tree. I'm going to shut down. Slow it down, buddy. Easy killer. Let's go this way. Damn. How you doing, man? Please. Have you met my dog? Yeah, it's cold out. His name's Bruno. No. Yeah, he's a good dude. Uh, I have my mom here. We're trying to talk them into going to the hospital. Yeah. I think the uh, I think the mother needs some medical attention, uh -huh. in my opinion. But, yeah. Um, no, it's cool. How are you today? Are you all right? Cold. Why don't you go, go go back to your apartment? Well, well, what are you doing standing here? It's freezing, man. My my fingers are I can't even yeah, feel them. Yeah, yeah. You got gloves on. Go get a hot meal, man. Why don't you get out of here? Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not. I, yeah. Like, <laughs> look at him. He wrapped himself around the pole. Waffle House. All right. He needed to go pee pee. All right. I'll be back tomorrow. You gonna be here? Huh? Gonna be here tomorrow? Yeah. Have you seen Annetta? You you know who Annetta is? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, his name's he's warm. You wanna you wanna hold on to him? Yeah. He loves pets and affection. Just yeah, he'll give you kisses. But I think he wants to. He's sniffing around like he always does. But uh. <laughs> all right. Come on, bro. I gotta put my jacket on. I'm my. I'm uh getting some shrinkage. Yeah. Hey, Brew! Come on, Big Daddy. You're going to Waffle House? Alright. Alright, I'll talk to you. No, she wants she just wants to talk to her. Um I was yeah. well like I was saying, I was gonna have her come over here but you put that other shirt on? Yeah. If, does it fit nice? Good for you. Okay. I had to take an anxiety pill. I could barely breathe. Yeah, I saw you kind of digging into your meds. Yeah, I also but, had to use my inhaler because I couldn't breathe. 
okay, listen, please, please be calm. We're just here to help. You know, obviously. I felt cornered. That's why. Uh, no, I get it. I get it because you're so young and you're not used to people actually caring. No, it wasn't. It didn't. Not, not mm. caring. It felt like I was being ganged up on. Well, it, we're just expressing say. concern. You know, you it have the old. the way your mom was talking to you. Well, she's. You know, sometimes I can be rude and bold and I'm an asshole and everybody knows it on the channel and they call me out on it. I agree. You know, yeah, do I make mistakes? Oh, yeah. Will I make one tomorrow? For sure. It's just the way it is. But the real deal... Oh, by the way, I had asked her about her A1C and she said that it's always at 6 because she keeps it managed. Okay. Every time <laughs> they've checked it, it's been at 6. It's just funny because she's a diabetic and she, does, she deals with this all the time. Uh... You know, but, that's... Yeah, but what, but what she doesn't understand is I've lived with my mom for 20 years. I've taken care of her my entire life. If something okay. was wrong, I would be the first to know it and okay. put her in the hospital because of it. All I'm trying to say is that this is an opportunity for you guys to get some warmth, some shelter, some hot meals, a shower, her proper medical attention. The car's not going nowhere. Nobody's going to know one way or the other if you're in it or not. Do you think... That if you're in the vehicle, it draws less attention. If they don't see us at Walmart, they'll know we're, we aren't in the car because we go to Walmart every morning. Okay, so we'll come back in the morning. If your target's towed, we'll get it. That is the least of your, your issues. I, I'm not saying that, that you have issues. The, the, my main concern is your mental health. And in order to have your mental health in proper shape, you need your mother, right? And the only, your biggest concern in your entire life right now is your mother, right? And I, I respect that 1,000%. But my mom would like just like to talk to your mama. That's okay. Okay, well, we're just going to... Okay, well, you don't have to worry about the cart, uh, you know. Well, she was wanting to show you guys that she was okay, so she was wanting to walk over here herself. Well, it's not even so much the point. It's just an opportunity for you guys to take a little break. Consider it kind of like having a hotel motel room for a couple days you know just to you know actually be able to walk around or, you know well have the comforts that normal human beings get on a daily basis instead of sleeping in your car you know it, it, it's obviously you know, the decision is up to you guys I'm, I'm just trying to offer an assistance plan no big deal all right i'll get my mom to come over and they get to have their talk and uh i gotta put my my little overcoat on it's man it dropped the temperature dropped 20 degrees yeah. nasty hey ma go ahead and drive over park in front of that pole okay. or you can park right in front wherever wherever you want Crap, it's cold. I'm gonna get Bruno. Benito loves Bruno, so I gotta bring him. I got the I got his lease in the good one in, in your car. But uh she was gonna walk over here to prove to you that she's fine. But then she realized, well, she can't walk, and then she's like, well the the electric scooter's dead. You know, That's so what's drawing attention is that scooter. Well, I, I would, I would think so. I mean, but who am I? I don't work here. So you're gonna walk? It's up to you. I mean. I can't hear you talk to me through the window. I said, better I get over there, maybe I can get her in. Well, whatever, all I'm trying to say is... What about putting them in a hotel or something? Band-Aid. They, if they won't go to the hospital, they won't go to a hotel. They, they're, they're terrified to leave the car. And I have their two most prized possessions in my possession. And she doesn't even know my... She doesn't even know... She know and that can be all replaced. Yeah, it's just stuff. You know, we're talking about human lives here. That's her mother. Just find a spot if you want to get closer. You can talk to her from the side where the basket is. Where do you see? Make it happen, woman. I want to make sure I go hit the Yeah, well, like the pole? 
<laughs> me and my mom. Dude, we talk like this all the time. You know, we bitch at each other for no reason. It's just the way it is. You know, gotta keep her on her toes. But, uh... <coughs> Brew! Son of a biatch. Do you think he could throw these away from me? I certainly can. Yeah. He'll eat them. <laughs> well, they got chocolate. That's all right. He loves chocolate. I give him stickers every day. Okay. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I was about to say. I was going to say. Uh, he, he just wants to. He wants to see He's Benita. Like, hello, mom. He say hello to you. Oh yeah. You no, know, he would jump in there, but I, you know, obviously, I don't want to allow him to do, the, to do so. Yeah. He's missed you. That he's been jumping at the bit to get out. <laughs> Need I'm gonna introduce you to my mother real fast. Yeah, and she, she's just the reason. What it is though is the way she sleeps. She sleeps with her head forward. Well, yeah, that's fine. She just that's just how she does. Even okay. when she was sleeping in a chair, she slept it, like that. It's really not so much on how you sleep. It's just the overall thing. No. Okay. I am not picking on you. Well, that's what it felt like. Well, don't ever feel. I'm just. She's a mother. Yeah. And I'm a mama. And you're like a granddaughter. You just, understand? I just want you to take care of yourself and your mother. My mom's my top priority. I take care of her before I take care of myself. I make yeah. sure she eats before I eat. Benita, I believe she does. But she's too close to you. Come on, don't you know what I have BPD. Huh? Well, it's because I have BPD and my mom's always been my BPD? Uh, borderline personality disorder. It means well, I like your personality. Well, Keep that one. I have a bunch of like different disorders that are personality disorders and mood disorders. And you know what? We we were fearing that you guys wouldn't be here when we got here. Every day I come here, I'm hoping hope, that you're here. Because yeah, he, he holds his breath. Yeah, I'm like, well, let's just see if they're here. I always pull in, I do a lap around the building, and I see your car. Okay. So that, that makes me happy. But we need to get you guys in a better situation. And uh, you just can't, can't this I is this like is unsustainable. Anyone. You know. Having to live in this weather. And like as soon as the car is fixed, we're going to go to a shelter. Okay. Well. Well, I mean. Right. Like that or a hospital, whichever. Well, right. Well, here's the story. Your car is bad. Let's just you know, think for a second. And you have you're, you're optimistic. And you're hoping that the car is fixed. <laughs> I, and I fully believe it will be. Trust me, I, I, I got some new information today. I am ready to proceed. The parts are at the house. Half of it's already been put in. Okay, why don't we tow the car to the house? Well, where are they gonna stay? In the hospital. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah. if need be, you know, that way the car's safe. Well, she doesn't wanna go. Well, that's, you know, she's a, a grown woman. You know, if I just figured maybe you'd like to have a warm Do bed. Do you understand you have two people that care about you? We're not here by any means to insult Are we you. Are getting any uh. glory? It's just I felt like I was cornered with the way you two were talking to me. I felt cornered and that's why I had a panic attack. Well, that's understandable, but it's all it's all in good it's faith. It's a misconception. Uh, yeah. No, that, that's, that's understandable. I've been watching your videos. I, I feel like I know you. I know you don't know me. A lot of people do. They've reached out to me to contact you and they're worried about your mother. You know, it's just it's and, it's just the facts. Yeah, and like, and then, but the thing is, they're, they're going work. based off a short video that doesn't even show much of my mom. Well, yeah, because she's always sleeping. Well, she doesn't no. like being on camera, so well, that, a lot I, of the time she's no, pretending no. to sleep. Okay. Well, no, I get it. You know, that's cool. Isn't but uh, it's just, yeah. you know, it's entirely up to you guys. You know, we're just two two. People we trying to help you guys out. You know, I just figured it would be a break from sitting in the cold and sleeping in, in a car filled with stuff that you can't see any direction whatsoever. <laughs> but, uh, you know. 
it's you know we're not we're not forcing or we're just trying to offer a a, a solution I mean a at least to get just checked up etc etc that bandage needs to be changed you can't tell me it doesn't you had to wrap it the, the whole thing fell off on Christmas Day when I was here in the rain picking you guys up to bring you to Chinese food that's because it got stuck to a boot well either way it's just it was totally unraveled and yeah well well how about um, we take you to urgent care That's where you're in and out. They don't keep you. Just had that leg fixed. Had I think she's dehydrated. That could probably go for like if, if she could, does, as long as she injury, what it is if she doesn't want to have to stay overnight at the hospital. That's what she's worried about staying overnight. Wouldn't that be the best choice? Think about it. She doesn't want to. That was the thing. Okay. Well, but do you think? I mean, why? Why would she not want to yeah. lay down in a nice warm bed and watch TV? She doesn't and want to risk losing all our stuff. That's you're not going to lose your stuff. You will not. Nobody knows for sure what they'll do, but that's the But thing. here's the deal. If they tow your car, we will get it. We were talking overnight. This isn't this isn't a two week thing. You want to sleep in a car tonight? That's up to you guys. You know, I I'm not gonna. You know, I've said many times I'm not gonna. He wants to get up and see her. Yeah. No, he will. He'll jump right in there. Go on. Go up, Bruno. It's okay. Go up. Benita loves Bruno. I think I think it's mutual. Yeah. We all love. I got to take him off the thing because he feels restrained. Everybody does. Yeah, Bruno's the man. Everybody loves Bruno. All right, back up, mom. There he goes. <laughs> Look at that tail. He's insanely yeah, loving. Some people have to dock animals' tails because they'll do that. They'll get happy tail to the point where their tail bleeds. We oh, no. Yeah, he's he's got a bald spot on there because he beats it against the wall all yeah, the time. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, no, sometimes he's, they have to dock a dog's he's, tail. You don't know how many times he's knocked my glasses off my face. But, he uh, almost knocked mine off yeah, my I'm face last time. Yeah. No, he's a lover, man. Oh, yeah. he smells that Slim Jim. <laughs> slim Jim. He's wanting my Slim so, Jim. <laughs> snap into a Slim Jim. Well, what can we do for you? What What do you want? Just honestly, just to get the car fixed. That's all we. Okay. Well, we're obviously definitely working on that. But the first thing that you said you were going to do would be to go to the hospital. And we're just going to try to shorten that Sorry, process yeah. and go to the hospital. You know, you told me yourself. But hey. Well, that's when yeah, I can actually yeah. force her to go. I can't force her to go when it's something like this. No, you can't force her to go because the vehicle doesn't move. When the vehicle moves and you can drive it physically. And I can make her go to the emergency room. Right. And you can also do that now. But no, it's uh, it's it's no, it's her decision. You know, she's a grown woman. I just, I'm just concerned. That's all. Yeah. And uh, you know, oxygen tanks and then smoking cigarettes in the car don't necessarily mix. Oh. And then when I open doors, oxygen tanks fall out. Oh, uh, this is a time bomb. Well, Potentially. They said smoking with those tanks are fun. Oh, really? You, yeah, they said you Who's can't... they? Jeremy, our oxygen guy. Okay. He said the only <laughs> one you can't smoke around is the one that plugs into the wall, which what we do obviously you, don't have. My mother okay. was on oxygen 20 years, and we weren't allowed to be 20 feet with a cigarette. This is back in 1927. Well, they looked the same. When black and white. Well, yeah. All right. Well, if you guys were comfortable with what's going on, I was just trying to offer some help. We were, you know, she she got some concern. She, you know, woke me up. You know, I, I worked last night. Like I said, I've only been up, well, about now about two and a half hours. I don't have to work today, but I got to work all weekend. You know, Saturday, Sunday, as usual. No big deal. You know, I hate my job. My stepson now makes more than I do, and he, he makes uh, fences. You know, digging holes and putting up, you know, with a staple gun and nails and stuff. And I'm like, damn. 
Yeah, but look at the years you spent out there. Oh, I know. The point. The point is, it's like. Uh, for the record, I want to point out she actually hasn't been smoking that much in the car. Okay. Uh, she what she's been doing here recently is she'll step outside the car to smoke if she's okay. gonna smoke. But no, that's she hasn't fine. Been smoking much at all. It's really recently. none of my business. All I'm trying to do is point out the fact that. Yeah, you know, I gave her some cigarettes the other day, and then I, it dawned on me. It's like, look. <laughs> That's why she, she got oxygen tanks. You know, the one fell out of the back tw twice. One on this yeah. side, one one in the back. Yeah. No, that's your. It, it's your your choices, your options. That's why you got vapors, and you know, I I totally get it. But uh. That's why I'm trying to get her to use these instead of smoking cigarettes. Yeah, I actually yeah, that is that the same one. Yeah. That, that's good stuff. Oh, you got a a two, a two piece. Your sewing messed up. Yeah, it came undone because of all the stuff in my pocket. But you got the other one on underneath. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice one. What do you want a cigarette? Uh, okay. Well then, I and you, young lady, I didn't gain up on you. It just—that's it, what it felt like. With, but I just felt backed into a corner. Don't, don't. That corner has curves. The corner is a circle. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make we any have, sense. <laughs> yeah, we got her running around in circles. Okay. Anyways, did, uh, did I give you that other battery? No. Okay. Here's the junior one. I got, I got Big Daddy. My hands are so cold, I can't even feel them. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm serious. It's I can't find my gloves. Give her yeah. my phone number because if you're going to be at work. Okay, there's that other, other little battery. It's fully charged, so you'll be able to charge your stuff. But she can't, well, you got that app that thing. App, yeah, uh, and right. if you have WhatsApp, I can text you on WhatsApp. It's on the phone. No, you got you got too many apps. You got more apps in your in your brain than I have on my phone. Oh, uh, no, it's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> the point is, is go ahead and get plugged in you know i would Not turn I yeah no doubt yeah good yeah good point now he's uh you do know it's black if you what damn yeah there's always accidents here because people are, are pay attention i'm see look at that to to walmart yeah no no for the chick-fil-a sale you know, son of a biscuit, it's cold out here. Yeah. Um. Anyways. I wish you could get those little propane heaters, you know, put them in here. The yeah, you can't, really you can't, you can't, you can't do it. it. Not with oxygen tanks, you can't have. And, and probably because then that'd be a lot of CO2 in the car. Exactly, exactly. Because that's what yeah. I'm worried about is CO2. Yeah. That's why I try to make sure that there's cracks in the door. Well, yeah, I, I wouldn't one million percent agree. Yeah, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, I'll just tell you. Oh, uh, okay. well, no. Uh, well, I'll just delete it. I'll tell you. Seven oh six. We use a uh, oh, total wireless. My name is so. But her official everything name is Susan. I guess that's more professional. Right, Ma. But, uh, like your actual name is Samantha, but you go by Sam. Actually, it's not Samantha. It's just okay. Sam. Really? I've tried telling people that, but nobody wants to listen. Okay. It's just Sam. Can I call you Sammy? Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah, that's the name I used to go by on really? the bus when I was a kid. Yeah. Uh, on the bus. <laughs> um, no, that's cool. Because it's not like my legal name is different from the name I go by. Um, my middle name was Samantha, but I got Sam from my cousin Sam. It was just Sam. Okay. And that's where I picked. Sam. We are exploring new opportunities for people to invade your personal privacy in life. Believe that's me. That's why I don't say my legal name. I, I I I do not blame you in one way, shape, or form because I've already been uh, diagnosed and. Because I go by Goins, and that ain't even my real last name. Oh well, I don't. Yellow dog. Yeah, that's what I said. I thought there was an actual. All right. Look at you. He wants to make his last second visit. Okay, you want to get in there and say goodbye? Here, we'll see if it sends. I think it actually works. Okay, from the app thing you got? Yeah. All right. Tell you what, then. Tomorrow, when I come back and work on your car, you and I will go to right down, down to T Mobile. We'll get your bill figured out so you have service. <laughs> And uh, you type faster than I can talk, which <laughs> yeah. is which is impossible because I can't stop talking. Hey. 
Well, no. when you were in high school, not allowed to have your phone, but you still wanted to text. In you high work. school, I didn't. There were, the phones didn't exist. Yeah, they were on the wall. But I got used to having to type like this without looking and type really fast, so I can actually type without looking. Uh, I yeah. Messed up that time, but no, that's yeah. clearly obvious. I have to. I'm the hunt and peck. <laughs> you know, I'm the. I'm old yeah. school. I, I'm telling her about how you used to install car phones. If, if you, oh yeah. If you can. In the bags. Can you, you know. If you can, can you bring me a new pair of gloves tomorrow? I lost my other glove. I got gloves right now. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. You mean you say they're lost? They just you haven't found them. Well, it should have been. Got any the thermal floor, blankets? I have just blankets. I don't have thermal blankets, but I can always get the big cover, Mom. It's that silver one, like you gave Annette. Yeah, she had watched that video. With oh the yeah, I got that. Cover. Yeah, I got one of those. Yeah, that's uh, that's our that's a uh, uh, no no no. It's the it looks like this. It looks like it's from space. It's the uh, Red Cross uses them yeah, in the army. Need them. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Oh, yeah. No, it retained. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to take one and line her seat so that she's sitting on something that would. All they got to do is start the car and warm the seat up. Oh, the car runs? It doesn't have the battery. You it doesn't have anything. Yeah. <laughs> until I fix it. <laughs> but no, that's my point. Let me get you that. Let's. Let me take care of. The, I'll, I'll come with you though. Okay, yeah, come on with me. Here, you hold him. Uh, My hands are freezing ass cold. Yeah, I've got a. Bro, I've, don't shoot me! Don't shoot me! No, he. You got no choice because that's what he does. He doesn't pull too hard when it's me though. No. He tries. He tries his best to not pull too hard. No, he's a good it. dude. No, he just wants to give loving. You know, his tail's nonstop. <laughs> He's just happy as can be today. He certainly, well, he's always happy. The minute he can get out of the house, because the other dog attacks him. He's like, as long as I can fix anybody, I'm good. Check it out. Let me break you off this right off the bat. First, all right, first of all, these are actually much larger than they look. Damn, my hands are ice cold. I can't feel my fingertips. <laughs> Mine are turning red. Yes. It feels about the same to me. This is, is it doesn't look like much, but when you open it up, it's like it's huge. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a big daddy, and that's from uh, that's from Tina. Oh. Yeah, Tina's awesome. Well, uh, everybody. Yeah, that, I was wondering if you'd ever take the big cover and give us a small warm cover. Well, what do you what do you need? Well, I, I just. I got both. Well. We have that really big cover, and it's really hard for mom because it takes up a lot of space in her already limited space. And so she needs like a thin, well, not a thin cover, but she needs right. a small cover. All right, let me ask you this. If she's going to remove a large blanket that's warmer than a small blanket because it's Bum, but it, uncomfortable. The one that you helped me fold up is the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, but that's not the one you, you're using now, not that no. blue one. No. Okay, so. Yeah, the blue one. Does she not. have socks? Yeah. Okay. Are you, they even gave her a thing to put over the toe, like you know how she's wearing that boot? Yeah. They even gave her something to cover her toes so her toes wouldn't get cold. Okay. You need gloves. Yes. All right, let's, here you go. Check it out. Here's a pack of hand warmers. Do, now you've already got other boxes. Or yeah. Here. I, have you used them? Yes. Okay, so you found them. Yeah. Okay. Actually, they're in the back seat right now. So you haven't used them? No. What I'm... Okay, let me put it this way. The ones you gave me, we used. And then Carrie, Jeremy's wife, bought us some more. Okay. So you have hand warmers? Yeah. Okay, good. We just don't have toe warmers, though. But we have hand warmers. They're the same. Well, yeah. I know. Well, then there you go. Uh... All right, gloves are in the trunk. This is a mess. The trunk is. My God, my nose is running. Oh, Bruno, he's just happy to be out of the house. The other dog just kicks his ass. 
constantly. No, it's kind of sad. Oh, uh, you need gloves. We're gonna make that happen. Poor baby. I got a mess going on Getting here. Beat up in his own house. <laughs> All right, check these out. No, these are. We're not fucking around. This, this is a real deal. Check these bad Mom boys out. Try and steal them from me. <laughs> I'll get you another one All for right. for each of you. Okay. Put them. Yes. Put them on immediately. Immediately, if not sooner. I had, a, I had a Spanish. I already feel warmer with them. Well, yeah, you lose all your heat through your your head, your feet, your and your hands. and your and your in your hands. Yeah. For me, if my toes are cold, I'm cold. Well, of course. But apparently, that's how most people are. Well, that's how that's how biology works. Yeah. It's it's not a it's not difficult. God damn, am I a mess? You know. Yeah. Hey, yours ain't a mess compared to ours. <laughs> oh well, that's you know just a situation of circumstance. Yeah. I don't. Oh wait, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another pair of the exact same. Oh, she's gonna love these. <laughs> oh my, yeah. They're plus they got check it out. They got the little rubber grips to them. Yeah. That's money. That's just a generic can of okay. Pringles. I got them. I'll get them. Okay. Well, then Let we're going to leave you guys be. my hand out. Oh, oh my yeah. God. <laughs> Took your glove. <laughs> Damn. No, he's got some power. But, uh, okay. Well, then I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to keep working on your car. All right. She, Being, she's probably going to sleep with these gloves on. She, I hope so. Oh, yeah. She's going to be real warm tonight. Well, that's, that's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But I, I want you to know that I'm, we're, we're, oh, God, my thing got all bent up. I just want you to know that, you know, we're not here to try to tell you guys what to do or infiltrate your business. We're just here to offer some help. And uh, you got a ton of things in your mind. That was the first time I've had an anxiety attack in like a year. Um, well, it happens. Got some new gloves. Are you eating today? I haven't eaten anything. I tried to eat a. I tried to eat one of those donuts and then I'm still Okay, give me your McDonald's order. Uh, just a double cheeseburger with pickles on it, and then we usually get a medium fried split it. And then and she mom, hasn't eaten either. You split a medium fried. Usually we get a large. With but everything. No. No lettuce. <laughs> yeah, no lettuce. Oh, does it turn in your stomach like that? Okay, one chicken with no lettuce, and that's all. Yeah, that's Fries. How about a chocolate milk? No chocolate. Nope. <laughs> Maybe just you could just do two small fries. That way she has her own fries because she usually eats all my fries. How about, <laughs> how about some coffee? Or hot chocolate? Do they have hot chocolate? I don't think so. Well, I don't think they have hot chocolate. Okay, you want to come with me? Well, I can. I don't know. It's right there. <laughs> yeah, it's not very far. I'm not going to take you. No, I just mean I don't know what, okay. what she wants for her coffee. You know how lucky girls are. You want me to just... Yeah, with 10 a sugars. A half a cup of sugar. Yeah. Half a cup. Well, do you want a hazelnut one or do you want a French vanilla one? Okay. Okay. Well, the ladies, guys. Uh, you <laughs> uh, mom, Mom's on the on the attack here. She's doing her motherly deeds. Okay. Please close the door for your mother, and you'll be back shortly. I wasn't sure if you were wanting to talk to her. Oh, uh, no. I'll, I'll talk when I get back. My battery's probably dead. You look like you're freezing. I. I okay. <laughs> Here's the deal, man. Oh, what a day. In all reality, quite well. You don't want a donut? What are you talking about? Who doesn't want donuts? Uh, after further discussion, they have elected not to go, which is their option. It is exactly 37 degrees. According to my car, you know, I don't have the 
the link to the weather channel but uh my mom's got samantha in the car they're going to mcdonald's to get those guys a hot meal and some coffee hot chocolate whatever they can find so i'm gonna let them hang out and talk samantha was in or sam sammy she doesn't go by samantha and it's just it's hard not to think otherwise it's just kind of the way it is and i'm just chilling here in the parking lot trying to get warmed up i am freezing cold i'm wearing shorts like a fool but that should be obvious by now everybody knows i'm a fool but you know sometimes sometimes a fool can surprise you but with that being said i'm gonna shut this camera down this will take six months to get up because I'm just so buried with videos already. You guys will see them. I promise you that, you know, no stone goes unturned. We've got to get this car fixed. I know, yeah, I could have did it, you know, 14 weeks ago. And it's like, well, go ahead, man. You know, thanks for your help. Come on down. Let's see it. Let's see your magic. Make it happen. You know, that's the deal. All right guaranteed to be back you know you can count on that